Hey Plan Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is David. This is not our jungle. Um, it's his car. Yeah. And we are parked at Paul's and Sandy's. Mm. Yay! So it's been a little while since we've been here and I'm excited to see what they have. So there's no reason to drag this, this out. Always a good trip. So yeah. let's get to it. Yeah. Let's go see. Let's do this thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. White knights, huh? Yeah, I don't know what the difference is between a white wizard and a white knight, but these are cute. Well, wizards use magic and knights fight with swords. That's, that wasn't the question. All right. Have fun, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Gracias. This looks like a tree. Doesn't it? Look like it tree looks like a literal tree. I kind of dig it. Is what I want Maybe we should like. do ours like this. Yeah, but you, we need like a piece of wood like that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stick to the pole properly. Not as well. Okay, so lots of stuff in here today. Some Syngoniums. This was the one I almost bought at Lowe's. Oh, $12.99. That's a good price for it. I almost bought it at Lowe's for the same price. These elbows are cute for $36.99. I like these pots. Look at these, they're cute. I don't like pink, but it's like the kind of faces you Stories. usually like. Lots of mic ends. $36.99 for this hanging basket. Lots of mic ends. Karen loves mic ends just as much as I do. $22.99 for these little brandies that are actually pretty well established and nice. Ooh, except for I just knocked it over. Like somebody just joked that they're going to pass a law in Connecticut that you can't touch pet like uh pet the plants because i knock them over all the time okay stay thank you um I, oh this is a big hanging basket for 36 i was like what is this it's so big i've never seen it get this big before <laughs> it always dies first um some cute little flowers i don't know what they are these are so cute aren't they i love these do you like these? Yeah, but I really like this. Bustle Tom. <laughs> that's a cute one. That's the one I have yeah, that time, says good times, like, like but it's spelled like time. Bustle Yeah. They grow all these here, so if you guys are, you know, gardeners. Some trailing rosemary. I can't wait until we can have outside mints. Oh, I like the mint to be. Mm -hmm. That one's cute. Okay, anyway, you got me all distracted. Some pink dragon alocasias for $12.99. I have like a corm, I think, is still alive of this. What is this? Chen, 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 oh, charcuterie. I like it. Alocasia charcuterie. 24. I might need this one. I like the ripply leaves. Look at the leaves. Mm -hmm. That one's cool. Okay, put that one on a list of ones we might have to buy today. It kind of looks like the, the Capria without the shiny... Right. But the leaves are bigger. Yeah. I like this big one. <laughs> um, this is the quilted dream. I don't know. I'm starting to not be able to tell these apart. To be honest with you, twenty four ninety nine for that one. Ooh, the regal shield here is really pretty. I'm always attracted to these, but like I feel like I would have to grow it outside. This one's eighty. Um, this is the longaloba long boy. Um, sixteen ninety nine. Oh, is that a little baby fried egg? Look at it! It's so cute. Look at the baby fried egg. Look at it. Okay, that's. Really it's cute. so cute. This, this is what cute. mine's gonna look like when I bring it over. Honestly, this one's cool too. It has the the thing that you like on the stems. Hi. <laughs> I have that one. I That's know. the one I'm propagating. Yeah, no, I like it. Yeah, I like them the same as like Oh, now I gotta look at all the philodendrons behind you. Um, that one's only twelve ninety nine. We should get an alocasia today. This is the Hello Beauty, even though it's not an alocasia, twelve ninety nine. Black velvet. I'm gonna need a new one of these one day because mine kicked the bucket. Sixteen ninety nine. I know, but do you like this one or that one? That one's cool, right? Yeah, no, I, like that one. I dig that one. I like the dark leaves. 
Um, what's this? More little baby fried eggs, I think. Yeah. So cute. I love that they're velvety. Um, and then behind you, you were looking at the fuzzy petioles for $16.99. Look at that leaf coming in. Yeah, there are a lot of silver swords for $49.99. Not a bad price. Look at this leaf. Look at this leaf. Um, and then the Standeliana Albo. She's got a little one here for 40 bucks. Mine um, needs to be chopped and propped. You guys are gonna see what that one looks like in a couple of days. I just edited that vlog. Some little baby jungle boogies for $14.99. Mine's just a little cutting. Yeah, yeah, you can attach, you attach it. Um, these are philodendron golden crocodile for $24.99. They look really cool when they mature from what I'm told. Some pink princess with some really nice variegation for $99.99. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. Some Raffidophoras over here for 50 bucks. I gotta do something with mine. They're growing like crazy. Well, these pots are cute. I don't know, she always has cute stuff mixed in with all the plants. Ooh, begonias. These are cute. Okay, I had one of these and then I killed it. So we don't do that. Eleven ninety nine. You guys know I can't do Rex begonias. What is this? Some sort of fern. I like this one, the heart leaf one. Mm -hmm. I bought one of these when I was a new plant parent, and I, nobody told me how thirsty they were. This one's a little less, but it it died. So some staghorn ferns for eleven ninety nine. Little jewel orchids for $12.99, super cute. Lots of Rex begonias, okay. I want one of these, I've just never gotten one because I haven't found one that I like. But this one's only 24 and it's nice. Look at that new leaf. Okay, we might have to get that one. I've been wanting one, but I haven't found the right one. That one looks like it might be the right one. Right? That's a beautiful one. You can't even argue with me about it. And they've gone down I mean, I in price like a lot. Brevimosa. Brevimosa. We'll just skip that syllable that we don't know what to do with. No. I can't do it. Oh, yeah. It's so easy. There's some maculatas here for $12.99. I love begonia blooms. Aren't they so cute? Yeah, like. So cute. Yeah, I can throw that one in the greenhouse and it'll be fine. This one? Yeah, I'll just put it in like a, a pebble tray or something. We just have to remember to get some stuff. Okay, some oxalis over here for $4.99. That's a really good price. Um, I love the purple leaves, obviously, because like how many plants actually are legitimately purple? I was waiting for you to literally answer the question. Purple <laughs> Besides that, <laughs> um, some more little baby heart leaf ferns, more ferns down here. Oh, here's your favorite, the rabbit's foot fern. Mm -hmm. yeah. like you either love it or you hate it, yeah. Like this is one of those like lacy ones that I like that are really cute. I like ferns, they just don't like me, so. Some cute monstera pots. Um, there's a Sissus right here for $24.99. The Sissus Discolor. I murdered one of those too. Me too. <laughs> there's some Silta Picana. Murdered them in a together. big hanging basket. Yeah, lots of Silta Picana. This one's only 20 bucks. Prices are definitely coming down. Decursiva for $12.99. That is a steal, you guys. It's an absolute steal. People are charging way too much money for these, in my opinion, anyway. Some cute little Raffidophora tetraspermas. 
Little baby Silta pecans. $12.99. I'm gonna have to get a new one one day and try and get it up a pole and see if I can get big leaves out of it. Is that a Himalamina? Mm -hmm. Cute. $11.99. Oh, here's the Selbeets. Well, she had some nice ones. If I need to replace one, at least I know. I kind of, I just want that, that, uh, oh, I can't talk, begonia. Some hypoestes over here, and then we skipped over some orchids, and some hanging pothos, philodendron, some ivy over here. It's big Adansonii for $139. If you guys want to cheat and get one that's already big and growing up a pole. We gotta repot mine soon and get it regrowing. Stop sighing at all the ficus. <laughs> There's some ficus Audrey's for $10.99. Look at those roots. Definitely ready to be up potted. The Hamalamina that you were showing me before. This is just the green one, emerald, for $11.99. The Selby's were $24.99. Mine is crispy. I gotta text my mom and remind her to water it. This is so cute. <laughs> the way she has everything set up is adorable. Ficus Tenekis, you guys know I love these. This is a nice ruby. Still waiting on like the one. Like I do, I do that though. That's why I waited to get one of these. I feel like this is like the one I've been waiting for and it has a little baby mm -hmm. too. And it's cheaper than what I've seen. $15.99 for this beautiful Teneki new growth coming in on it mine start growing around like february honestly and then they grow through most of the summer so they have a pretty long growing season in my opinion little ficus triangularis that he was sighing at before because ours i show <laughs> you'll see in my vlog this weekend i've been trying to keep it alive for like two does years. not look like this <laughs> it's just no no so there's that. Here's some ficus benjamina, but I'm a little I'm a little sensitive to that right now. I don't really want to talk about those. Some string of turts hanging out down here. $8.99, which is a good price because they look like they're on the struggle bus. Some chunky pearls. Look at how chunky these pearls are. Those are some chunky pearls. Those are chunky. For I ten, the yeah, nine ninety nine. I know that thing is thick. Twenty eight ninety nine. <laughs> I just love how big they are. These look like tears. They're like not as round. And these are the tears. And these are the pearls. I prefer the pearls. These ones are so cute. In this little hanging basket for twenty four ninety nine. Sucker for those. This is the ruby necklace, I think is called, for $24.99. Lots and lots of options down here, or like string of pickles, I feel like they call it. Why do I feel like somebody calls it pickles? Look at these things, aren't they weird? Yeah, but they don't look like pickles. <laughs> Some dolphins over here. Ripsalis different types of ripsalis. I think these are cool. I wouldn't mind having Is one of these. Berkelii or Berkelii? I don't know. I think in Latin, the CH is pronounced like a K, somebody told me, but that's, kind of what I but that's not necessarily in Latin if it's just the name of the plant. Hmm. Depends on when they named it. Virgil e. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Some moonshine sansevierias down here for 20 bucks. It's a good price. This bigger one is 40. One of my favorites for sure. Like, yeah, I think these are cool. It's cute. Oh my god, these ones are fuzzy. You hate stuff like that. You know, it just has a weird kind of tarantula leg feel to it. I dig and, it. And I don't mind the spiders. It's just. I yeah, dig it. It's confusing. I like it. I like it a lot. Did like, I miss anything back like here? Harry Fire Sticks. <laughs> Harry it Fire also Sticks. Like the name of some dude like, you know, oh, these are Star blooming. Star. Okay, so I got one of these for my grandma for Christmas, and then she called me, or I called her recently, and she goes, Oh my god, that plant you got me is blooming. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I'm like, yeah, that's why I got it for you. So, oh, speaking of grandma, this is cute. What is it? Oh, it's a little bell. Oh, cute. That's cute. I always buy her. We yeah. have a mom one, too. Mm -hmm. It's cute. She's a pain in the ass, but <laughs> I still love her. <laughs> be this oh, wait, right here now. it is. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah. Super cute. All right. Well, that's good to know. She'd probably like the Jesus one, though. Holy <laughs> Monstera. <laughs> Look at this thing is mm. huge. Do you see it? 179 if you want to take this thing home. Yeah. Look at the look at the pot it's in. The in. You'd have to put it in the back of a truck. Mm. Another little baby one down here. It's a baby. Well, compared to that one. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna chop mine up probably into nodes mm. and start it over. And honestly, just give them away with like plant purchases. Thirty bucks for that Aglaonema. Um, where to start? Over here. Okay, we've got more string of things. We've got some Aglaonemas hanging out down here. String of hearts for eleven ninety nine. Autograph plant. I've never heard it called that before. I think it's like, um, I always forget the name of it. I always look it's at the like name the, of it and then like forget the name of it. Clappy. Clappy? Clappy plant. It's a clappy plant. Yeah. That like sounds it's weird. It's like you're telling it the plant has, the plant has the clap. Why did your mind have to Because <laughs> you called it clappy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, Foxia japonica? It's an STD plant. Okay. <laughs> I didn't say it. You did. <laughs> totally Spider did. web Foxia. Okay. Oh, here's the whale fins. She still has one. Look at mm. it. It's huge. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how much it is. What does that say? 40 bucks. Mm. And you got multiple plants in here, so that's a good price for that. Okay. Oh, look, Hoya Linearis. Oh, I was just talking about how mine is infested with mealybugs, and I might need a new one. Um, these are only $16.99. That is quite possibly the best price I've ever seen on a Hoya Linearis, just saying. And there's like tons of them. So if you guys are looking for it, I skipped over these variegated string of pearls. Oh, they're so pretty. It's kind of a cloudy day, so I'm sorry if the lighting isn't great. And this Linearis here for $36 if you wanted a bigger one. Um, honestly, I would probably get like two of these smaller ones and pop them up together. But that's just me, my personal opinion. They're so soft. I just want mine to trail. It's been on the struggle bus the whole time I've had it. Some Hoya Wietii in this hanging basket here for 60 bucks. Not a bad price for this nice and established plant. Some pubic helix for $36.99. I see some Cartesii here for $36.99. You guys know I love Cartesii because I have like what four of them. <laughs> <laughs> this Obovada that's still here for some reason. Looking a little bit like it needs some love. But the new growth is coming in really nice, so that's what counts. More pubic helix. Oh, they still have it. Okay, we're gonna swing around then. Yeah. They're cool, right? Mm -hmm. What are they, 24? That's not bad. And then that is the Anthurium that I have at home. It's like the Radicans yeah, hybrid. Yeah. Yeah, these are cool. Um, but if I had to pick between that and that, I've, I'd rather go with the Begonia because yeah. I know that I can keep the Begonia alive. Those are some of her rare plants that aren't for sale back there. Mm. I think that's the Philodendron Mexicanum. Mm. And then this is the Thai. Yeah. 
And then this is the variegated gigantium that I have a little baby nub node that's this is, growing. This is insane. This is like... I know, it's massive, right? <laughs> so that's a mother plant, I'm assuming, that many propagations have come oh. from that one. Some philodendron, philodendron graziale. <laughs> It looks like the Peperomia raindrop, right? But it's a philodendron, so it grows like, yeah. even dumber. Yeah. <laughs> and, but probably lives longer. Yeah, this yeah. is the Anthurium coral, how do you say Cor that? Coralinum? Coralinum affinity. Coralinum. It has an affinity for it, but it's not it. Okay. Um, we skipped over some Tranescantias oh, over it was here. Like Anthurium AF. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, look at this Makoyana leaf. It's just like, hey, all the way up here. That's fine. I like this pot. This is cool. It's nice. We're getting this too. Oh, yeah, yeah. We do. We need that. And we need some um, moss poles and some clear some clear things. Um, some Orbifolias over here for $8.99. It's a really good price for these. Lemon lime Maranta is back here, twelve ninety nine. Some red ones, little peperomias. I always like the pudiolata. I think these ones are cute, nine ninety nine. Much easier to care for than the obtusifolias and and the raindrop. Oh, this one's variegated. I have some cuttings of a variegated one. I think they look kind of weird. A lot of people said they look like they have a virus when they're variegated. They don't. It's not a virus, but they do look kind of odd. Not my favorite plant in the world. Some caparatas down here, or obtusifolia, peperomia hope. Oh, see, I don't know if she has any more of the little ones. What are you holding? Oh, is it a chicken? <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I'm like, I, I sense you standing there. I don't Come know what on. you're showing me. Look at it. That's really cute. It's got a whole chicken little vibe to it. That is very, very cute. You can get it and put it in the Hoya thing if you want to. That's alright. Alright, so we've got, oh my god, look at this obovada. It's so splashy. <gasps> That's so pretty. Mm. Isn't it so splashy? Mine's mm -hmm. not splashy like that. Shush. $16.99. Stop laughing at me. Some pubic helix. These macrophyllas or latifolias are really cute. Already on a trellis for you. You guys would have just seen mine is blooming like crazy. $36.99 on this. Little baby carii leaves for $6.99. And then you can get an actual Hoya carii that looks like it has like some inner variegation. Yeah, for $59.99, so those ones are going to be a little pricier because of the variegation. But they just, they never throw out a normal looking leaf. Okay, we've still got some Hoya species Affinity Bertoniae, which do not at all taste the same as Hoya Bertoniae, in case you were wondering. For $16.99, you guys will see what I mean in my next video. A little Hoya Lacunosa over here for $16.99. This one kind of looks like the Royal Flush. Oh, it is the Royal Flush. Never mind. I was right. Some Crimson Princesses for $17.99. Um, this whale fin is stunning. Ugh, I'm, I'm tempted to get one of these. Look at it. That is a nice one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Don't need it, but I want it. These big Hoya Australis ones. Some more uh, Fetonias. Some hanging stuff. Little goldfish plant. And then there are a bunch of philodendrons behind me. So you've got your regular Hartley philodendrons. $22.99 for these hanging baskets. And then you've got some little baby ones here for $5.99 if you wanted a smaller plant. 
some Macaulay's finale over there and then some other random philodendrons that I don't know the names of. Imperial Red for $10.99. This Macaulay's finale is 20 bucks. And then we've got some philodendron silver stripes over here. Super cute for $16.99. A lot of these are looking really lovely. Got some hanging baskets too for $36.99 of the silver stripe. And you've got like plenty of it to choose from if you're in the market for that. So some Brazils down here too if you like the more yellowy variegation. $15.99 for these big ones and $10.99 for these little ones and then of course more micans. Mm -hmm. Never a shortage of micans. These little baby ones are, I don't know, there's no price on them. Probably like 10 or 15 for those. I don't see a price. Oh look, $13.99. I was so close, right in the middle. Some strawberry begonias right here. They're um, not begonias, but they look like begonias. I don't know how much those are either. Something 99, 6.99. These are cool pods too. Some chlorophytum hanging out down here. Lots of fun macrame. I like this one. That's pretty cool with the different colors. And little short ones. It's so hard to find short ones. Those are cute. I like this one because it just looks like rope. And then we've got some Silver Splash. Syndopsis for $24.99 in this hanging basket. Some little Truby Eyes for $14.99. I think this is Exotica for $24. Some regular Jade Pothos here. Some Manjula for $16.99. Never go wrong with a Manjula. Some Jade Satin with some really nice big leaves. They tend to get a little silvery over time for some reason, but I'm not mad about it. $36.99. Some regular Syndapsis Argerius for $16.99. The most difficult one for me to grow for some reason. And lots more Splash. Tons and tons of Splash. Lots and lots of Pothos. More down here if you're looking for a regular Exotica, let me just grab it and like show you the difference between the two really quick in case you missed that video. I can link it for you if you want a more in-depth explanation as to why these two are different and how to tell them apart. You've got some Silvery Anne down here, which is different than the Argyri Argyrius. I have a video about that as well if you can't tell the difference because it, that one is significantly more difficult to tell the difference in my opinion. This is a regular one and this is the silvery Ann. So where's the silvery Ann? It might be silvery Ann, it's just not very silvery. See I can't even tell, it's fine. Marble Queen, sometimes they're called Snow Queen when they're very highly variegated but they are still the same, they just come in highly variegated so mine was sold to me as a marble queen and it looked like this or even these and the more light I've given it the more it looks like this so you can get yours to look like this don't be afraid to put it in brighter light you might burn some leaves at first but the new growth will come in much brighter so then we've got some Cebu blue for $22.99 not mad at it. You're a little mad at it because they're straggly, but this is what I want to do. Oh, yeah. See how much nicer they look? Yeah, for sure. Up on a pole, the leaves get bigger and like more silvery and hopefully eventually start throwing out some fennies. Mm. Got a lot of pearls and jade over here for $16.99. Some of them look like enjoy. You just kind of have to go through and, and pick one that you like. They tend to just all be mixed up together because they are the same plant more Cebu blue There's little ones 
So this one got broken. $13.99 for these little ones. Boop. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> Usually you're the one who's always playing with it. I already did. So me on both of those. Some neon both those for 20 bucks. That's a good price for this size. Ooh, One of my favorites. Always love a more like chartreuse, neon-y, green leaf. We've got the Isle of Misfit plants over here <laughs> where some of the sad plants come. Um, oh, these poor little jade cuttings. $8 if you want some little jade cuttings. Um, sad Peperomia. I think this is the Ecuador. That's cute. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. Some Cal and Koei, a bunch of ferns. Um, some cuttings of succulents over there that they're rooting. Dyphenbachia. Is this the Alocasia that I like? Yeah. 15 bucks it's on sale for. Mm. I don't need it, but it's nice. And then there's some cacti and stuff over here. These pots are really cute. <laughs> is this a ladybug? What is this? Yeah, I like the ladybug. That's adorable. Some cool cacti for eight bucks. Lots of different succulents, some pickles. These barrel cacti are cool. Is this some sort of agave? For 20 bucks, this one's nice. I've been looking for a variegated one for you that's nice, that has like the creamy. Well, for us, because I like it and you like it too. This is a cool little <laughs> pot, it's got the little water look at this barrel <laughs> the little babies some euphorbias i like these i know you don't but i like these yeah i think they're really cool <laughs> it is a weapon yeah well, There's some bromeliads they over here. Not so There's <laughs> cryptanthus. <laughs> uh, some string of nickels or silver dollar vine, string of coins, string of nickels, zero sisios. Okay, $36.99. Um, yeah, sometimes they're not as silvery because. Right then it can be hard to tell that they're a silvery ant because you'll get leaves that don't really have anything on them at all as opposed to the argyri, whatever, always has a consistent amount of... There's a video on my channel about it. You should just watch it. Not so silvery Susan. That's what we'll call it from now on. I don't know what I was just gonna say. That's fine, some ZZ plants that are grown by them which is cool because you know that they're nice and healthy. Some silver squill plants here that are really cool. I had one that I kept alive for a little while when I died, but that's fine. $8.99 for that. Some black pagoda lipstick plant for $12.99. Super cute. This little watch chain is really cute for six bucks. Um, and I think that's it. Then we just have to decide what plants we want and pick up the supplies that we need. It's raining. Um, so we bought plants, but they're all wrapped up. So we're gonna head home and we will show you uh, what we got. Cause we got a bunch of stuff. Ooh, we got a bunch of stuff. So I'm um, excited about it. And I can't wait to show you guys what we got. So stay tuned and we'll see you when we get home, okay? Well, I like to say louder. You louder, louder your voice. It. Louder, Instead of, like the, turn it up. Louder the music, Hi. please. We're um, back. We are. And we got a big short. box of plants. You it's got a big box of plants. I'm not touching anything. Well, they're your plants too, Boo Boo. No, just the chicken pot. Okay, so. <coughs> We're fine. 
<laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? No reason. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> anyway, so um, I guess we'll start with this one because it's in the front. So this is the Alocasia Chanterie. Chan Charcuterie. Chan Shark no, seriously, truce. what does that say? Chan Chantrieri. 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 Chan okay. Chantrieri. I don't know. Um, let me just show you what. I shan't pronounce Can it Can you correctly. put your hand behind it so it focuses? Mm -hmm. There we go. Teamwork. That's what it's called, apparently. Okay. So this one was $24.99, and I told him that, you guys would have heard me, that I wanted to get an alocasia today. So we agreed that we both, I'll vacuum when I'm done. <laughs> I agreed that we both really liked this one, right? Yes. And then I picked this one in particular because... Look, it's got some variegation on the leaves. I gotta cover my face. Is this light too, like, yellowy? I can, can we change the color of it? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. What the hell? It's fine. Just leave it. It's fine. It's supposed to do a thing. It's fine. Just leave it. So this one has variegation. And I was like, does this have variegation? She was like, I don't know. I didn't even really look at them. And she was like, it looks like it. This one does too a little bit on like the edges. It has a little bit of damage. Mm -hmm. That looks like it happened as the leaf was unfurling. Mm. But it's got a new one. So we're going to pop this probably into the greenhouse just to keep it in a nice humid situation and hopefully we'll get some more because like even this one has variegation see a little splotches a little of variegation so sport variegation i have reason to believe that it's gonna keep on putting out some cute little splotchy leaves i like that they were kind of like ripply yeah and they're nice and dark yeah, no, like, i, I like think this was a good choice good size and everything yeah. good choice good choice chief and then you would have also seen me pick up this Begonia Breverimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
and then <laughs> this is our housewarming gift. I know it's kind of nice. Isn't she it's, so it's cute? Really sweet. It's incredibly sweet. She has some for sale too. If you guys are looking, uh, I got dirt on it. Yeah, you did. Balls and Sandy's. They do. She does have at least one left. I think I saw at least one left on the there counter. There is one on the counter. Yep. This is the Monstera elbow. elbow. I think it's a Borzigiana technically. That's a four dollar word. A who? Borzigiana. Borzigiana. Because there's the Deliciosa. They grow a little bit bigger. Right. Like longer. And the Borzigianas are kind of more compact. Oh, I see. But they're, other than that, they're the same. Some big roots. So, like, look at this new leaf. Mm. You guys. This is living in the greenhouse, too. But I mean, <laughs> for sure. it's very, it's very happy. She just up potted it. It's in a really good soil mix. It looks similar to what I yeah. keep my plants in anyway. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that it's in a clear container so we could see it. There's a little root popping out the bottom. <laughs> I can't believe that we have this plant. <laughs> look at it. I'm just going to find you staring at it at 2 o'clock in the morning. Just some random I'm already night. up there staring gonna... at all my philodendrons, and I just put them there yesterday. <laughs> the first thing I did when I woke up this morning was go... Up. I was half asleep, and I dragged right. my ass up there mm -hmm. to go look at my plants. Turn on the light. So you guys are going to see that oh, video oh, after this one on Saturday. Mm. So that's our haul. She's beautiful. She's so pretty. Which one's your favorite? The um, alocasia? Yeah, I really do like the alocasia. It's I mean, a cool leaf. The chicken's my favorite, but like I really it's like It's a really the cool leaf. Stunning. Indeed. Absolutely stunning. Look at the variation on the stems. Go put it in the greenhouse like right now. I'm gonna, but yeah. So that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. We had fun getting out. It's a rainy day, so yeah, it's really gross. Out. It wasn't wasn't bad to be in a nice little oasis for a little while. Plus, it's always nice to see Karen and everybody else that works there. is very sweet. They're literally the best. They're so cute. No, it's a wonderful place. Really. Yeah, I always leave with a smile on my face, even if I don't buy anything. So definitely recommend if you guys are in the area to check it out even if it's like an hour drive it's definitely worth it make sure that you're following them on youtube i can leave it their channel linked below because she does post and instagram too between her and i like you're gonna know what's in stock and if you ever yeah. want to know have any questions you can just dm her and ask her yourself and she'll tell you and if you want to hold a plant if you are driving a long distance for a specific plant like she will hold it for you until you get there so there's always that. You don't have yeah. to take the ride not knowing what what's going to be there. You know what I mean? Like it's, every time we well, went to Nelly's, we always knew that we were picking up a specific right, plant and right. then we were going to shop around and see what else they had while we were there. Yeah, but honestly, a trip to Paul's and Say is like always worth it. Oh, 100%. It's always. Worth it. always. Yeah. Especially now, like springtime, things are waking up. They've got all their she outdoor keeps stuff. It fully like, stocked yeah, it's a great. You can spend a, like, stuff. You can spend a long time there. Yeah, because sure. hopefully they open the market up again soon. And then yeah, there's yeah, a whole yeah. like little farm market where you can you, get veggies. You get hot peppers. And, yes, and, I like those. The and Peruvian like, Ones. maple syrup like mm. with the real stuff mm. you know they have good stuff too lots of yeah. like gifts oh yeah so handmade soaps stuff and stuff like that things yeah. and whatever yeah if you're Always looking for the trip. if you're looking if it's like a gift season for you and you're looking for stuff that's a great place yeah. for sure for 100%. sure i agree love it there. we might be a little bit biased but yeah it's one of my we've been to a lot but of nurseries <laughs> right like a lot right and that's top three yeah yeah for yeah. sure yeah. yep so anyway, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. Go follow him. He's got some stuff, some new content coming soon. Yeah, I've got that like we're excited five about. videos that I have yet to yes. edit that I need to get out there. So, so And then our fun. channel. So you guys yep. can follow us and stalk our lives in three separate places. Well, when you put it that way. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, definitely go and follow the David and Jack's channel as well. We have a new vlog coming out hopefully this weekend. <laughs>
I don't know. We have a lot of, so we were doing a live stream. Some technical like, difficulties. We've got a lot of going stuff on, going on. So, so Sunday, yeah. this Sunday, we're aiming for around noon, yeah. March 27th. Come hang out. We will be doing a live stream here on this channel, Jacqueline's Jungle. So mark your calendar. I'm going to be posting probably, what's today? I don't know. Today's Wednesday? Sure. Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. So I'll probably be posting tomorrow. So that uh, like a thumbnail and whatever, so that you can put your oh, notification for the live stream. on yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. for the live stream. So definitely make sure that you're subscribed, hit your notification bell so you don't miss those things. And I announce all of this stuff on the community page and everything. You're really not going to see that stuff if you're not subscribed and actively like engaging. Just with hit the, the dang. It takes two seconds to hit the bell. Not even. Just hit yeah. the bell. Ding, ding. Hit the bell, get the notification. There's okay. a join button down there too if you want to take it a step further yeah. and support this channel. There's lots of different perks, lots of fun stuff that hopefully we'll be able to see for the first time in the live stream. The members get like special perks, oh, right. like badges or like stickers. Oh, crash emojis. I think emojis. they get a free yeah. super chat. Like, you know when you super chat and it comes up, it, I think like, like you stuff. get one. Yeah, okay. If you're a member, oh, you get cool. like one free one a month yeah, yeah. to use to like highlight one of your super pick one of the cute like dancing emojis anyway we're having too much fun with this <laughs> we're gonna go we appreciate you fam and we hope we see you in the next one bye i can't get over this fucking plane